Um, good morning. <laughs> I I really feel I felt bad because I I did that that poll, you know, about the which which video I should do, and I haven't felt much about what to say about transforming weaknesses into strengths but um as i thought about it a lot yesterday and this morning it's just been super cool to see how how it's just kind of just come together and the the, the talks and and lessons today at church were just really cool and and really helped me put a lot of things into perspective and i still don't know 100 percent what exactly I should share but I, I do just trust that that I will be guided to know how to help people and what I should say and so I just pray that people will be able to to grab something and and to be able to see God and themselves in the correct way in the right way that we were intended to to see life and people ourselves and God um, but one thing too with the, the weaknesses um, becoming strengths we're, we're not just talking about trying to be the best the better humans because that's not why we're here <laughs> we're not here to be to be the best humans that we can be we are here to become the gods that we were created to become we he heavenly father our, his intentions by sending us down here are not to just to just try to be better and, and and just little by little like just be better humans no we are here to to prepare and to choose to become like him to become like our heavenly mother as well just perfect like our savior jesus christ um, that's that's why we're here so when we talk when i talk about weaknesses and when you think about your weaknesses don't think about it in an in a uh, earthly standpoint e eternal perspective <laughs> um and and don't forget obviously that we we do live on this earth and 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 just slowly we're going to be able to to see changes in ourselves um in in the world to be able to be better but but don't don't stop there don't, don't be complacent there's if if we really knew and understood that we were created in the image of our heavenly parents that we had that divinity inside of us, we we would not settle. We would not make decisions that that we do that limit us from achieving that potential. And and Heavenly Father knew He knew that we were going to to be blinded and not and not see that. That's part of the plan to to use our agency to choose Him. But but He's made it possible through sending His Son Jesus Christ to transform our our human weaknesses that we were made perfectly imperfect with to be able to work through and to have God's power show in us and, and transform us and so that's that's really just that's kind of just a, a big summary of it of, of weaknesses and, and, and strengths. And we all have, t today the lesson in church was about kind of specifically, we were all sent here at this time on earth for a purpose. Uh, uh, nothing is coincidence. And as I was thinking about this with, with this in mind, I was thinking about how, how, Heavenly Father doesn't create bad things to happen. He he's perfect, he's good, he's holy. So he doesn't he doesn't create bad things to happen, but he knows everything that is going to happen. And so he has 
prepared us in ways to be able to in in our unique situations and circumstances and and how we have our unique weaknesses he has also placed in us spiritual gifts to be able to help with those trials and and weaknesses that that he knew would be going on inside of us and and in the world around us at this specific time and and so i think if 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 we saw things a different way that that our weaknesses and our natural man tendencies aren't 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 a cursing that they are ways for heavenly father to manifest his love and power in us and to realize that he knows us and has given us gifts to be able to to walk free of that i think we would have a, a just more hope and courage to walk after christ and to not fall into the trap of the world and just saying oh this is how i am so i'm just gonna be that way because that's that's really what the world is saying it's it's if if you feel a certain way if you want to do a certain thing then go do it because that's what your heart's saying so that's you should do it but god God has has given us just there's this higher love this higher standard and so please don't limit yourself and just say this is how i am get to know god by getting to know god you will get to know yourself your real self and you will not want to stay how you are <laughs> and you won't stay how you are it's it's just how it comes naturally also in in sacrament meeting today um the speaker was talking about how what you give in to, to, to whatever effort you give give into something that's the same amount of blessing and pressure that you get back and, and pressure i mean just um yeah blessings and strength and so if you are pouring your heart out to god and and trying to become better you we're never going to be perfect we're always going to to have setbacks but if you are putting your heart into it heavenly father is already there with his perfect love and he is going to just give give back give knowledge back give a testimony back light and that doesn't mean that your life is going to be perfect but it means that you are going to be stronger that you are going to be able to withstand temptation more as you put your heart into God and living the gospel day by day. He will protect you. He will keep you. And so with weaknesses, for years and years, um, I have loved the scripture, Ether 1227. And it's, it's talked about a lot. But something that has been really big for me, and when when I've always kind of thought about transforming weaknesses into strengths, for me the biggest thing has been with my shyness and being able to articulate and express my feelings. Because, for real, when when I was younger, I couldn't even look at people and speak. Uh, they they would ask me a question, and I would just look at them. And just my my mind would freeze and go blank. And I would just stand there like an idiot. Like I really would. And I would just be so mad. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't talk. And w- the thing that I, I really just think that, that helped a lot was I had people who walked me through it. Who weren't, who, who weren't okay with me just saying, no, I can't. It's too hard. They made me. They, they would take me aside and say, hey, let's talk about this and let's practice so that I, you can you can be able to do it later. And it was so cool to see just, I mean, after my mission, throughout my mission, like it just kind of came and and it was just really special to see how it wasn't me doing it. 
it, it, it's not whenever I talk and even when I just have conversations with people like this in normal day life if if I just allow myself to talk I still sound like an idiot <laughs> like I, I can't do it I, I don't know what to say but when I have the spirit with me even if it's not like a spiritual conversation but when I have the spirit with me speaking and creating relationships just comes naturally and and so I just on my mission there there's I mean I, I learned all these scriptures about if you just trust in the spirit and if you prepare and if you just open your mouth then you will be able to speak and it took a long time it took years and years to be able to do that and and, and I'm not saying I'm perfect and I know what to say all the time now because of the spirit but but when God wants us to speak and has a purpose in our speaking he will he will place that in us and and so that's just something that I've really seen and it's it takes humility and faith um, in in ether 1227 that's what it really talks about it's understanding that okay I have this weakness that I can't make strong myself I need Christ to work inside me to be able to to do this thing and so faith now w one thing too is I, I want you guys to think about your own weaknesses and things that you want to 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 improve on and not remember not just to be a good human but to be able to become like God to be able to to carry out your purpose that he has has called you to do in this life and to help other people to build his kingdom so so think please think about it in that way of how Heavenly Father has given you gifts to be able to help other people but maybe they're not as strong as you you would like them to be right now but with with strengthening them for me personally it, it wasn't just about practicing talking it was I needed to just go out of my way to serve people and becoming more confident in myself so that no matter what I said even if I did think that it was just dumb <laughs> that I was still just confident that it's okay that if people thought, even if they didn't think that what I said was dumb, that I, I knew that it's okay because Heavenly Father is with me and I don't have to be, <laughs> be a slave to other people's thoughts and feelings about me. That Heavenly Father and His, his view of me is really what matters. And so just putting yourself out there and and going by the spirit to with whatever you feel you need to do it's it's going to to change your whole your, your whole life so when when we put our faith in Christ when, when we want to work on a weakness that we have and, and transform it into a strength through Christ it, it, it's not just focusing on that specific thing. It's the, the gospel covers us fully. It's holistic change. And so the, the more that we clean out our lives, the more that we clean out our music, our media, the more that we are spending time with people who have their view on God and are helping us, helping us live the gospel, we can have the spirit more with us and that will in turn give us more strength to to make these weaknesses godly and, and to to become more purposeful in in them and i hope i make sense but one thing too that i really felt to emphasize was sometimes satan takes these spiritual gifts that Heavenly Father has given us and puts doubt in us and th 
through the experiences in our lives makes us see them as a weakness. And a little example with that. So, well, last fall, um, at the beginning of September, it was just a really special thing because I learned just, I, I knew Heavenly Father knew me and loved me and blessed me. But this is when I just, his timing is perfect and he has full control and, and his hands are in every detail of our lives. Because this last September is just when life just got really, really hard. And at the beginning of September, I started going down to Provo to a, a Polynesian Institute class. And it was just really special to be surrounded by by people who Heavenly Father knew I needed. Um, especially my my Malo sisters. <laughs> um, it was just really special. And one, one lesson that, that we had was Brother Richardson, the, the teacher, he's super cool, but he was talking about, he made up this word oppositifying. And he had us think about what we feel Heavenly Father wants us to oppositify, which is just changing, changing one thing and, and just flopping it into a strength. And as I was thinking about that, for me, it, it's, I've talked about this a lot and shared a bit about it, but I, I, it, it's very easy for me to love people and to have compassion. And when I love people, I love them. My heart is in it. And, and I can't, I have a hard time, like, not putting my full effort into into people and but that satan had started using that to bring me down and just to make turn it into a sadness instead of an instigator for service and and seeing people in god's god's view and so i, I real i felt like i needed to to learn how to to flop that and to to not see it as this this cursing <laughs> to love people because i really did like i just i would be so mad that i just cared so much about people and and i realized with, with help from other people too to realize that 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 is such a blessing that that being able to just meet someone for 30 minutes talk with them and and to to realize that I'm never gonna see them again broke my heart like that that is really special <laughs> and and so it, it's been really cool to see how with prayer and, and reading the scriptures and getting to know Heavenly Father and and serving putting myself out there and, and realizing that that closing my heart off and putting up a wall and 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 turning away from people is so much worse than feeling hurt because I love people and so it, it was just really special to to see that transform and there's still times where I I kind of get upset that I just like my heart can't take it because I feel so much but I I stop and I thank Heavenly Father that I'm able to feel because there are so many people in this world who have shut off or shut off um, they've just become dead in their hearts to actual love and affection and caring because they don't want to hurt and that breaks my heart and so I'm just, I've been really grateful for, for that. But my, my point with that is, is I, I encourage people to also sit and think about what Heavenly Father would like them to oppositeify. And, and to see that, that whatever weaknesses they have, that God does not want them 
to does not want you to stay that way and that you have the power to change to be transformed a, a lasting change and and you you might still fall again you will still fall again but that's the atonement the atonement is eternal and it it never it never stops working as long as we are faithful and we put in work and just know that Heavenly Father uses our weaknesses to help other people. And, and so it's not just all about us, but it's about how can, how can I work to be able to help other people see, well, first see their weaknesses, right? Because we can't fix a weakness if we don't see it, but also to have courage and hope to know that they can, they can, make that a strength as well and I, I really just want to just to encourage people that it's okay that you have weaknesses Heavenly Father knows he cr he created us perfectly imperfect to become perfect <laughs> yeah um, I I was thinking about what to do and I feel like I've I want to share a poem that I wrote a little bit ago. Um, I mean, I guess quite a while ago. Time's going, and I don't know how I feel about that, but hey, it's cool. <laughs> um, but I wrote this when I was just feeling like I was super inadequate, and and, and like I had no light, and and that my weaknesses were just too too strong to be able to to do good and so I just hope that you be able to to feel Heavenly Father's love and to to see your weaknesses in the way that Heavenly Father has created you to see them to turn to him to love him and to know that there's nothing you can't do with with him by your side um, but here's my poem. Tempted to curl up in a ball and waste the day on my bedroom floor. I hear a voice that is sweetest above all. We know you're hurting, but we need you more. I wonder how I could be a strength to anyone when I feel so weak inside. But as I take each step one by one, I feel heaven right by my side. Where much is given, much is received. Sometimes those blessings may seem hidden but we could see them if we just believed. When you feel the light begin to dim and you wish you understood, take his hand and walk beside him and believe he is working for your good. I promise that the Heavenly Father knows everything that, that you're going through, that you are going to go through, and he has prepared the way for you. And he doesn't want you to stay how you are. He created you to become like him. And I just, I pray that you won't be complacent with how you are. That you will see how amazing you are and how just divine you are. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.